New at 5.30, the Equal Rights Amendment has a long history of ups and downs in Virginia. It was 43 years ago this week that state senators blocked the ERA, which guarantees equal rights regardless of sex. Philip Townsend has a look back at the dramatic vote and the decades-long fight that followed. The Equal Rights Amendment was first approved by Congress in 1972, designed to give equal legal rights to all Americans, regardless of sex. But part of the deal, 38 states needed to ratify the amendment within seven years in order for it to actually appear in the U.S. Constitution. 1980, Virginia was center stage as one of the last states without ratification. Today's vote was in the state Senate. Dave Browdy has the story. The state Senate needed 21 votes in order to pass, and it was expected to happen. Even though legislators were split 2020, Lieutenant Governor Chuck Robb would act as a tiebreaker, giving supporters that critical final vote. The senator's ready to vote. But it was another technicality that ended up blocking the amendment in dramatic fashion. As 20, nays, 19. The only way to stop the tiebreaker was to not have a tie. So Republican John Chichester claimed it was a conflict of interest, and he didn't vote. The bottom line was the defeat of the measure. And you decided that the bottom line was served by your not voting rather than voting all. against That's it. exactly right. It would take 40 years for Virginia to finally ratify the ERA, something that happened just three years ago in 2020. But that seven-year deadline originally imposed by Congress has kept the ERA out of the Constitution to this day. This year, a resolution was introduced to remove that original deadline. But as of Friday, a vote in the U.S. Senate hasn't been scheduled. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. Proponents of the ERA say adding it to the Constitution could strengthen the legal basis for combating violence against women, pay inequality, and maternity leave.